So just another quick video about version DJ2023 and missing files. Because you probably bumped into this dreaded icon at some point, the red cross on top of the regular icon. So uh, that means that this track is broken, Virtual DJ can't play it. It could be because it's actually physically broken, meaning that it's a corrupted file or something like that, but usually it's because it's missing. So wherever the database, the Virtual DJ database is pointing at, meaning the path and the file name, it's not there anymore, so it can't load and play it. So that's usually what the problem is. So right now we are in a, in a, in a virtual folder. That's where you often find them. It could also be in a playlist, but that's where you often find this thing, pointing at things that are not there anymore. So you could, of course, fix it right here. But what I usually do, because I want to fix it in both to get rid of them, is I use the My Library plugin uh, that you can get on the extensions and go into Database and go into Tools and go into File Missing because then I get all the missing files in my database and I can start fixing them. So in this case, you can see the same file here. So then, of course, uh, you could try right-clicking and say, I want to relocate this file. You can also do that in bulk uh, because if it's the same error, uh, it's, it'll fix them all at once. But what I usually want to do is I want to figure out what, why this happened because you often say to yourself, well, I didn't move anything. I haven't done anything. Uh, it's where it's supposed to be. What happened? And uh, for that, you need to figure out the truth. And for that, you need to look into the tag editor because the tag editor will tell you exactly where Virtual DJ expects to find this, this file. So the exact uh, path to the folder and the exact file name. And this has to match. If that doesn't match, then you can load and play the file. So usually when I get into that, it points like maybe a USB stick where I actually did, did deplete this from once. So it got loaded into the database. So it's like, oh, I need to remove this. Oh, I need that. And, and I know I've, uh, I've maybe it's pointing against the, uh, where if I downloaded it to first, like maybe in uh, iTunes, and that's not going to be there anymore because I've moved it around. So I usually know exactly what went wrong when I look at this or look at this in case I've renamed it like move, remove uh, the, the track number, like 01, 02 from the middle or the start of the file name. It's like, oh, that's what went wrong. And then I know what to do to relocate it, right? So this really tells you something. So, so then after you figure out what went wrong, then you can make a, an informed decision to either relocate it using this, this or you can maybe you may want to remove it from the search, uh, the search database because it is really a missing file that you don't have anymore. But I would say the first step is to go into the tag editor, look at the file name and look at the file path and figure out exactly what went wrong.